Good morning, children. Children, the last we have seen out about the yes, different test. Is it different test for starch, then protein and fats? So these are the test we can test. We have conducted in the last class to detect the presence of starch, protein and fat in the our liver food items. Is it children? So today we are going to know more about the components of food children. Okay. So children, what do various need nutrients? So they do for our body. So we eat different types of the food items that contains various nutrients. Is it it? So why these nutrients are necessary? And what these nutrients do for our body? What do various nutrients do for our body? Number body ya nutrients ya beko. Abi ye kaise madte number body ki? So what it provides? Why it is essential for our body? So we will going to learn about this. In this class, children, we are going to learn the essential or to the importance of nutrients for our body. So, children, you know that carbohydrates mainly they provide energy for our body, is it? So, carbohydrates they mainly provide energy to our body, is it? it? And then we put the fats. Fats also they provide energy. Is it children? And then, but in fact, children, in fact, fats give more energy. So they give fats give much more energy as compared to the same quantity or same amount of carbohydrates. If you take one gram of fat containing food and one gram of Carbohydrate content food. So which one gives more energy? Yes, fat gives more energy compared to the carbohydrates. Understand? So, but the amount, the quantity is same. Understand? So children, carbohydrates. Oil 
any uh, okay so you have to know or any other uh, coconut oil or groundnut oil okay or butter brown nut oil they contain fat sugar see here so this one is a carbohydrate contained food which one is yes, rice rice is a carbohydrate contained food is it and then oil groundnut oil is a which is the nutrient major nutrient be present in the groundnut oil it is fat so you see have taken one gram of groundnut and one gram of rice so which one gives more energy here the groundnut oil gives more energy compared to the rice okay so here fats gives the fat gives more energy much more energy compared to the same amount same amount of carbohydrate have taken same amount but which one gives more energy is fat okay children and then so then children tell me what we call the food containing fats and carbohydrates so the food containing fats and carbohydrates they are termed as they are known as energy giving food they are giving energy isn't it you are fat fat and then carbohydrates they provide energy so that's why they are called as yes energy giving food items okay fats and carbohydrates or called as are also called as energy giving food food containing fats and carbohydrates or called as energy giving food energy giving food diets or food okay so children do you know about the proteins it is another nutrient present in our food diet food diets is it so proteins are needed so why the proteins are necessary for our body so proteins they are needed for our body for the growth to grow for the growth and repair of our body cells understand children so proteins are needed for the growth and repair of the body so what we call the food they contain proteins so they are called as body building foods foods which contain proteins they are also known as body building foods Repair of the body. So that's why they 
body building foods foods containing proteins protein are called as are termed as body building body building yes foods is it children and then what about the another nutrient called vitamins so vitamins act to protect to protecting our body against many diseases it protect our body which one vitamins they protect they help in protecting our body against diseases so vitamins also help in keeping our eyes our eyes and then bones skin teeth and gums healthy okay so vitamins they also help in keeping our eyes and then bones teeth and gums healthy so vitamins also they are nutrient present in our food diet Okay. Is it? So these are the different kinds of the 
with the next children. So children, in a, so there are also a group of vitamins. A group of vitamins are also present in our diet. So they are termed as, or they are called as vitamin B complex. So there is also a, a group of vitamins. So these are called as vitamin B complex. There is also a group of vitamin, group of vitamins called as vitamin B complex. Is it? So they are called as vitamin B complex. So children, our body needs all types of vitamins in minute quantities or in small quantities, is it? Our body needs all types of vitamins, is it? So this vitamin should present in our food, is it? So our body needs all types of the vitamins but it is in small quantities. So children, we will going to learn more about or discuss more about the vitamins. Our body needs all type of all types of vitamin in small quantities. Is it? So all types of the vitamins in the body big. Other yes to tumba karame quantities nali. Okay. So children vitamin A, what is the function of the vitamin A? Vitamin A keeps our skin and eyes healthy. We already know about this, isn't it children? So our vitamin E keeps our skin and eyes healthy. Vitamin E keeps our body keeps our eyes Calcium is essential for 
for good health of bones and teeth children okay so children foods that are so foods that are rich in different vitamins isn't it so this is all about vitamins so then tell me what what is the uh, what is the essential what is the need of minerals in our food diet arms so minerals are also needed for our body but it is required in small quantities so minerals are also needed by our body in small quantities so vitamin tarare so minerals so our body ke tumba kadu it is essential so it is needed and beke beku adre eshto tumba kadme quantities alli bekagutte Okay, so nowadays, nowadays people. 
people they are suffer from the deficiency of vitamin D due to the insufficient exposure to the sunlight. So children, see here I am going to uh, I am writing about the sources of carbohydrates in which food diatoms they contain carbohydrates. Carbohydrate is also called as energy giving food. I already explained about this. Is it children? So here is a some examples that that shows the food items they are rich in carbohydrates. They are sources of carbohydrates. See sweet potato, potato, sugar cane, papaya, watermelon, mango, maize, maize, wheat, rice, bajra. So bajra can be seen in the same So then a roti to prepare roti, dosa, kichdi. So this bajra is used. So I think you are familiar with this called bajra. Okay children. So these are the food. They contain, they are rich in carbohydrate. They are the sources of carbohydrate. Once again I am going to repeat. Sweet potato, potato, sugar cane, papaya, watermelon, mango, maize, wheat, rice and bajra. They give carbohydrate to our body. So then so, sources of fats. So in which plant I mean, which plant product they are the sources of fat. They contain the fat nutrient. So let us read. So sunflower oil, mustard oil, coconut oil, soya bean oil, nuts, ground nuts, steel. So what is steel in Canada? Yield. So you in, in this examples or in these food items they give fats to our body they are the sources of the fat but these are obtained from the plant for okay children what about the sources of fats so that is obtained from animals see here sources of fats so that is obtained from animal so for example so meat, ghee, milk, butter, cream, eggs, fish. So these are, uh, are, are, are these are the examples of the sources of fats. So these are obtained from animal. So these are the examples of the food items, food. So they are obtained from the animal, but these are rich in fats. They are provide fats to our body. Understand the children? So let us come to the sources of protein. So in which food items or in which food material the proteins are present? Major quantities of proteins are present. So that is obtained. These are the obtained from plant. See here, gram, moon, to the beans, peas, soya beans. So gram kadle kalu, so moon hasar kalu, tur dal, bere kalu. So these are the beans, peas, even soya beans. They are also rich in protein. They provide the protein. So but these are the these food materials are obtained from the plant. They contain high quantity of proteins and also they provide protein to our body. So then sources of protein. But it is obtained from the animal. So, which are the sources of the protein that is obtained from the animal children? See, meat, fish, milk, paneer, and then eggs. So, these are the examples of the food material. They contain protein. So, that is obtained from animal. So, children, I hope you are all understood about this. So, we will go into know more about in the next class. Okay children, thank you.